all right guys hello my name is David and what we're gonna be doing over is pretty much going over my setup and pretty much the items that I use to get this outside mount going so let's go ahead and get started really oh, as you can see I do have a uh, two setup uh, dash cam one over here one on the side and let's just go over the materials really quick I have a dash cam two suction cup this can be found in, in Amazon as well at this other one on the safety side I included this tension cable fabricated it myself just to be on the safe side you never know this might fail and this can save the day uh, and this is just so I can feel more comfortable when I'm driving especially at high speeds or doing it on the highway same cop same concept here now I have the, the mount at a good angle to provide really good imagery and then on the side I have this suction cup it can hold up to 10 kilos so pretty sufficient to hold the camera especially if it flies off or something it can hold that force now when it comes to the cables unfortunately for this specific car i don't have a sunroof so um i just decided to run the cables here inside previously i would run the the cables here inside i would roll down the window and i, I would stick the cables out but i that kind of the, the wind kind of and the noise bothered me so i just found out that if i just open the door you know and just leave it like that it won't damage the the cable so let me do that again you know you can see kind of how there's rubber here same concept here so that's how the cables are the cables these are not extensions so these are the cables that come within the um, within the box so there's no need for an extension cord unless you want to have the dash cam in the front then that's a different story these cables are pretty good enough now on the inside as you know the cables are coming here normally nobody sits on on the passenger seat so that's a good thing and i bought myself an adapter here from from amazon actually really good quality i've been testing for of for over a month now and one of the cool things that i like is first of all it has the two connections and i'm able to connect more chargers in case i need to do that right i have my charger here and then two additional more in case i also need to charge my cell phone as well this is for the other camera and the cool thing about this as well is if you just click on the buttons you know um you'll be able to turn on and off the camera let me just try it again there you go it turns on so sometimes you know there's problems when we start driving you know and there's troubleshooting that we have to do so what i like about this the most is sometimes if i don't have to do troubleshooting or try to connect to wi-fi i just turn that off you know the camera will turn off i know it will turn off i wait a little bit i turn it on again reboot and then normally that works after that so uh, there you guys uh, there you have it guys so hopefully there is a little bit uh tour or guideline help you on the setup hopefully it helps you it gives you a better overview of uh, an idea how to set up um outside mount and there you have it you have a great day thanks